and welcome to another Humanware Brownout Touch Snapshot video. My name is Andrew Flatcher, so I'm the Brow Product Manager at Humanware. And on this session, I'd like to talk to you about some of the recent changes we've made in July in Keyword. So going through the list that we've had and uh, made improvements on, um, first of all, we have a share function now available in Keyword. Um, this is a real cool feature allowing you to, to share your documents uh, in a more efficient way. So before we had to, um, to share a file, we had to go to the file manager um, and navigate to the file and open up the context menu to share. Well, this time it's slightly different. You can actually access that share functionality whilst being in the word processor. Okay, so I'll show you that as well. Um, find and replace feature. Um, this has been uh, a kind of a big frequent request to find and replace. Um, of course, we're able to find an, uh, a word by using the command uh, space and F. Uh, but this time to, uh, to find and replace, uh, the command that we're introducing is a very familiar command for those that used an Apex before, backspace with the letter F. And then lastly, the other enhancement that we've made within Keyword is insert page break. And to insert a page break, uh, the command that we're going to be used, and I will demonstrate this in this session, is backspace with P. This will create a new page for you, and on your brow display, um, it will be shown uh, as a uh, the, an ED sign followed by the letter H or a dollar sign uh, followed by the letter H, depending on, of course, your, your brow preference. So let me show you. So um, from the main menu then, we're going to start with um, the find and replace. So I'm going to open up an existing document that I have. It's uh, my shopping list. And uh, I've just been told from my wife that uh, she wants a red wine or uh, instead of a white wine. And uh, so I need to update my shopping list. So I'm going to open up my uh, document. So from the main menu, W for word processor. Word processor, keyword. Uh, press enter. Keyword menu, create. And I'm going to press the letter O for open. Open. And press enter. Key files, shopping list dot docs. Okay, the real benefit of uh, on the Brownout Touch here is that it will open up or point to me into, the, into my last document that I was in. And of course, shopping this was my last document I was in. So I'm going to press enter straight away and that will open it. Loading. Please wait three period. Edit box. End of document. Okay, now what's really important here um, for the find and replace feature is to know whereabouts you are relevant to your document. So if I do perform a find and replace and I'm at the bottom, it's going to bring up uh, negative results because it's going to find the word going forward from your cursor. So it's really important to make sure you, you know where your cursor is, know exactly where you are in, in your document. So I'm going to go to the top of my document, so space one, two, three. Top. And now I'm going to perform the find and replace commands, which is backspace and the letter F. Find what? Edit box. Okay, so it's now asking me to find what name first. So this is where I'm going to find the, 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 the name white. So let's type in white. W-H-I-T-E. And I'm going to press enter. Replace with edit box. Okay, it straight away takes me to the replace with, and I can straight away type, and I'm gonna replace that with R red. E D. Okay, now you do have some more options here within this dialog box that comes up. Um, now, you can replace all. Um, there's also a checkbox for, uh, to, to, to match the case. Um, but to be honest, if you really just want to just scan through your document quickly uh, and you know that there's just the one uh, word that's, that is white, then you can press enter and that will straight away replace the first word that it picks up. Um, so I'm at this point going to press enter. Red, edit box, red. Okay, and it's now taken me to the, the first white word, and it's now replaced it straight away with uh, the word red. So now I have on my, my display red wine instead of uh, white wine, so my, my wife will certainly be uh, a lot more happier. So that's the first feature, the, the find and replace. So backspace with F uh, is the command for that. Um, so now, though, however, I perhaps want to, to share this now with my wife. I need to share it to uh, the cloud, as you'd say. Um, now, there are a couple of ways to, uh, to do this. Um, I'm going to show you probably the more efficient way. Um, so we need to access the context menu. So there isn't a specific, specific command to do this. You do have to go into the context menu. So you can either press the square button at the very front to access the context menu, or you can press space with M. Okay, so I'm going to press space with M. Context menu. File functions. 
you then get your free categories okay I can tell you that the category of share is under file functions so I'm gonna press enter file functions create new additional document backspace within so at this point you can then either use your thumb keys to pan through your available options or if you want to jump straight to the word share then we can simply use the first letter navigation so I'm gonna press the letter S save space with S okay and again save as backspace with S and again Switch documents, space with dots, one, two, five, six. Okay, and again. Share. Okay, and there it is, share. So I'm now going to press enter. Android system. Not checked. Add a drop box. Okay, and in traditional Android style, it will then give you your available programs that you want to share it to. So at this point, if you want to go to uh, Drive, you can press um, navigate to... Not checked. To Skype. Google Drive. Bottom. Not checked. Oh, man, PDF conversion suite. Not checked. Not checked. Let's print Droid. Not checked. Save to drive. Okay, so save to drive. Um, so if this is where you want to, to, to save your, your shared document, then you could press enter. Uh, even Dropbox. So all of those share applications, it would be offered to you at this point. Okay. Edit box. Red. Okay, and then lastly then is the insert page break. So I'm going to remain this document for now. Uh, I'm going to go to my bottom of my documents, so space four, five, six. Bottom. Now, if I then want to force a new page break, the new command at this point, backspace with P. Okay, so it's not going to give you anything of our TTS, but on your brow display, it will show, as I said before, an ED sign followed by the letter H, um, or a dollar sign followed by the letter H, depending on whether you're in UEB or, or, or US brow. Okay. Um, and uh, at that point then you can uh, start typing on your new page if however you delete it when you press the backspace new page deleted it will actually give you the TTS announcement that that page has been deleted so that consists of the three new enhancements that we've introduced in keyword so just to summarize it's the share function uh, the way that we share the, the document now um, is through the context menu so you press space with M or the square shape button and uh, choose file uh, followed by um, your share button so you can jump to it by pressing the letter s um, a number of times and uh, that just saves you uh, having to come out of your document going to file manager choosing the file and share it that way so it's a lot more efficient um, way of sharing your documents find and replace backspace with f uh, again this is really useful if you do want to change things like for my example certain words you can have certain text strings so it doesn't have to be one word it could be two words as well uh, and lastly the insert page break backspace with p uh, so this forces the new page um, it doesn't however tell you by tts but certainly in brow which is the what's really important to us uh, it will indicate there's a new page by uh, format markers uh, indicating ed uh, h or a dollar sign h depending on your brow preference so that's it thank you very much for listening i uh, hope you enjoy the new version of keysoft